Tristan Thompson has cheated on Khloe Kardashian again. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Tristan Thompson has cheated on Khloe Kardashian again. Did you see that Tristan cheated on Khloe again? Yeah, it's terrible. Allegedly. <laughs> So we talked, we hung out multiple times, we went out together, Explain everything. You. I'm officially a YouTuber now. I'm saying allegedly. Okay, so what's up, guys? It's Sandra. If it's your first time joining me, welcome to a clan. And if you've been here before, of course, you know, we my day ones, we go together. And welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave your opinions on this video. Okay, so I normally, I don't do celebrity news. Just because people's lives are people's lives, they're entitled to living how they see fit, yada, yada, yada. It's not my business. I really don't care about other people's business. My channel is not really a celebrity gossip news um, channel. But this instance is different, okay? This is not even about the Tristan or Chloe. It's more about the psyche of what I've observed about the Kardashians, although like I don't follow them that closely. On social media I don't watch their show or anything like that but I do see certain patterns and as someone who you know specializes in psychology it's kind of like intriguing to me to kind of like see how they operate and some of the things that they do pertaining culturally to them and we all know the men that they get involved with okay so and okay so this is not an old video this is like what's today april 28 29th 2021 and this is after the jordan wood scandal so if you guys are not familiar maybe you know i'm not gonna assume people know what would happen because a lot of people have actual lives and don't really care about celebrities so and that could be one of you the whole thing that happened with jordan woods who was kylie jenner who is Khloe Kardashian's sister. Um, Jordan was Kylie Jenner's best friend and allegedly Tristan kissed her and um, you know, the Kardashian went out, you know, for her. They had blood out for her and it was the power of Will Smith that really saved Jordan Woods from the wrath of the Kardashian family, um, including the sisters. <sighs> well, I didn't think I'd be coming to the table like this. Kylie having to step in and saying, you know, this is my long-term friend, don't do this. And it really had a big to-do on social media. Apparently, yeah, after the whole scandal, Khloe Kardashian, who was, who's almost 40, was going in on a barely 20, 21-year-old young woman for a for a man that has not once but several times cheated on her before jordan and allegedly got with chloe while he was his tristan's baby's mother was pregnant at the time so Trist tristan was with his baby's mother and then allegedly got with chloe leaving the baby's mother to fend for herself, whatever. And it's not the first time he did that. And he's cheated on her several times to where it got to the whole Jordan situation. It blew up because both were famous and blah, 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 blah. And now it's being reported by a 23-year-old model that just earlier this year, around January, but she kind of fluctuated, said November, January, she couldn't keep track. Uh, maybe she's not trying to be too explicit and said well, she was drunk, that's her claim. You know, they were drinking, they have like this show. Never heard of the show, I don't remember what it's, what it's called, so forgive me. Apparently that um, the model revealed that she and Tristan were dating, not like we had a one-time hookup. We, we saw each other several times. The model stated explicitly that she asked Tristan, are you single? And Tristan said yes, and she later learned that Tristan is in fact not single because she and Chloe are always back and forth. Um, and so it's, you know, she found out 
that Tristan is actually still with Chloe, so she decided to peace out. And Jason. I went. did not I, know he wasn't. He told me he was not in a relationship anymore. So I said okay. So we talked. We hung out multiple times. We went out together. Explain everything. Yourself. Look at and this. And then how we, long ago was this? This was. I think November. Uh, was it January? I think I'd have it to was January. January. Probably right, January. Adam? No, well, I'm not even paying attention oh, to what you're saying. If you're no. saying anything that's going to get me sued, just for the record, I wasn't paying attention Everyone to it. I was, just, I was no, looking at my phone. So we hung out. Everything was cool. We were all like, we were fine, blah, blah, blah. He you tried to talk to me. And I literally said, are you single? Yes. Okay. We can talk. We talked. We hung out multiple times. It happened. Let me hear and that. And then I talk. found out that he was not single. And I cut. And... <laughs> She revealed details about his privates. That's not why we're here. Why we're here is, okay, with the Kardashians, Jenners, um, it's very obvious that they have a fetish with black men. Argue with your mama. Facts. Okay? Um, clearly, this has this been how they've branded themselves. And, you know, and they always surround themselves with black women that they can emulate, that they can copy from, that they can um, draw inspiration from. And to me, here is uh, kind of like the Black Chinas, Jordan Woods, Justin Sky, beautiful, aspiring, talented um, Black women that they want to look like and go and alter themselves. Not that I have anything against plastic surgery, not that I have anything against, you know, enhancing your body, your face, whatever. You know, but it's very obvious um, whether or not you choose to admit it. That is the fact. And so they choose to, you know, Find, you know, even their hairs, wearing the wigs, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. So, but I think at some point when the Jenners were younger, the girls, the Jenner girls, they were younger, they used to hang out with the Smiths kids. Um, that's the Jada Pinkett and Will Smith's children, Willow and Jaden, mostly. I think at some point Kylie even dated Jaden. Okay. So, I think from what I'm observing, like the Kardashians, a lot of non-black people or white people that tend to hang out especially in american culture there is this belief that blackness is synonymous all blackness should be the same all black people behave this way they talk this way they listen to this kind of music partake in these kind of activities um enjoy these things eat these foods that's what blackness means to these people in their mind so anything or anyone that is a bit different has a different variant of blackness that they're not used to that America hasn't told them that this is also blackness. They don't recognize it as black. So you you get disqualified, kind of like the Smith kids were, right? Because they're into a lot of different things, according to Americans or American culture, blackness is hip hop music, basketball, football, wearing wigs, weave, um, eating certain foods. And that's what black, it means to be black in America, talking a certain lingo. That's what it means to be black in America. But black around the world could mean any given thing at any time because black people are literally everywhere on the planet and have completely different cultures and don't even practice, majority of black people around the world, don't even practice anything that happens in America because truly that is not black culture. It, an aspect of it is a part of black American culture, but it is not black culture per se, right? So anytime anyone who's different from their idea of what it means to be black is, it's dismissible, kind of like me. I feel like I would not be black enough for the Kardashians unless I exude certain behaviors and certain beliefs, blah, 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 right? So Tristan is Jamaican, period, point blank. So. I think, of course, he grows up in America, like me. I'm Haitian, I grew up outside of America, right? But I still have adapted to not only mainstream American culture, I've adapted to other cultures within America because America itself doesn't really have its own culture. That's facts. It's just made up of different cultures, okay? Um, primarily. So me, I have adapted to different cultures, but that is not to say I do value black culture in America, <laughs> facts. And I also value other cultures within America that may not be quote unquote deemed black necessarily. So I feel like someone like myself, 
would not be going to be black enough for the Kardashians, which is very polarizing. And it's a dangerous belief, systematic beliefs, stereotypical beliefs. That is why black people are discriminated. Part of the reason why black people are discriminated against is because people hold certain types of beliefs towards black people as facts when it's not and treat all black people in America the same, whether you're American born or Haitian born, Jamaican born, Nigerian born, or wherever you're from in the world, um, Dominican born, they treat you like you're black. This is what you're supposed to be. This is what you're supposed to act. This is what you're supposed to do anything. And so this is my belief. So any belief that I have towards black people, positive and negative, automatically applies to any black person where it may not even relate, right? So for me, I know that the Kardashians who only know one aspect of black culture do not know that. And they do fetishize black men and use them as props and fetishize having black or mixed race children, right? So the Kardashians, with the Chloe situation, um, Tristan, again, I said, is Jamaican. So even if he's American born, he still has his Jamaican culture. And I'm not here to bash Jamaican men. But I'm going to tell you, all I'm going to say is Jamaican men are a different breed. Kind of like, <laughs> I don't stereotype people. But I was trying to understand why a woman like Khloe Kardashian, right? She comes from an accomplished family, right? Financially stable, well-to-do um, very popular, clearly, because people are still watching their show and still buying their products and still bigging them up on social media. I remember this girl, she kept calling wigs like Kylie Jenner wigs. And I'm like, why do you call it a Kylie Jenner wig? Because Kylie Jenner wears it. Yeah, Kylie Jenner learned it from black girls and now it's a Ky Kylie Jenner wigs. And just like um, Kim Kardashian, they used to call box braids, Kim Kardashian box braids. And that's another reason why it's very disrespectful to black culture when other people come in and emulate certain certain things and then it is taken on to mainstream culture to be popular and be profitable but someone else is credited with it do you understand so part of the reason why this is another i always say this another um topic for a different time but like the kardashians okay they make a profit off of black culture but in chloe's situation particularly Part of the reason is that they have one main view of what black culture is. And so when women stay in, it brought me to the idea, like, why would a woman like Khloe Kardashian, again, stay in a relationship with a man who constantly, publicly, intentionally humiliate her and has clearly proven he does not care. I was trying to figure it out because a lot of the time when people stay in abusive relationship, whether it be physical or emotional, it's probably because, you know, psychologically they're abused, physically they're abused, um, financially they can't afford to get away, they don't have other options. So I'm going through the list. Okay, physically, I know he's not beating her ass. Because that would be just crazy to be in a family like that and have money like that and somebody beating your ass and nobody in your family gets you out, okay? So I'm like, okay, physically you're good. Financially, you don't need him, right? <laughs> you're, you're, you're good financially. So then it brought me to, it has to be psychologically, right? Because of the fact that psychologically they have a one idea of blackness. So they don't, she doesn't know the ranges, of black men cheating. Yeah, I know black men don't cheat, but black men cheat sometimes. Just only sometimes, except for Tristan. Tristan's the only black man that cheats, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, so, for I was trying to think about it, like, I cannot put my finger on it. Like, what is going on? Why is Khloe Kardashian thinking in it? And knowing this man has cheated again, and he had, she will not leave this man. She will not. I feel like I will, um, have gone to the moon before Khloe Kardashian leaves Tristan alone. I don't know what is going on. So it's just like, this is on some get out sunken place shit. What is, what is going on? Like, what is going on? And then it hit me and don't know me. Tristan is Jamaican. Again, I do not like to generalize people, particularly black people. But what I'm gonna say is, 
Jamaican men can convince you sugar is salty while you have a spoon of sugar in your mouth, okay? They can convince God, okay? They can convince God, okay? They are the creators of all things and not God. So that's why I was like, you know what? That's why he got her on the hook. He's got her ass and she ain't going nowhere. She is in the sunken place for real. So pray for Khloe Kardashian because, ooh, Chad, Khloe Kardashian is in it. Like, this is what nobody can understand. Khloe, what are you doing? Your family has issues with this man, as they should, because if someone is treating me like shit and disrespecting me and my family is okay with that, I don't know. I would definitely want my family to not be okay with someone treating me and, mis you know, mistreating me and, and treating me like crap and disrespecting me any chance they get. Okay, so then, yeah, Chloe is in it deep. Okay, she is in it. She is stuck. But I, but I said, you know what? You got to take it how it comes. You wanted this man, and this is your idea. You don't know the range of blackness. And don't even care for it. Don't appreciate it. So now, you suffer the consequences. Okay? And I am feeling not being a little bit bad for you. But I can't. <laughs> but I do feel bad. If she's under she's under a spell, y'all. And I know y'all believe in voodoo, whatever the fuck. Again, you know, Caribbean people do voodoo, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm saying. She really is under a spell with this man. And... Cha, cha, cha. Chloe. Girl. You in it now. You in it now. I hope, I hope that, I don't, I don't know. It's so hard. Like once you're in, in it, in the sunken place of a Jamaican man's tongue, you know, picture the, um, I don't have a spoon, the tea with the spoon, except just picture him talking to Chloe. You are in the sunken place now. You in the sunken place now. She ain't going nowhere. So I say buckle up. And let's just enjoy this for what it is. Entertainment. Okay? Anyway, thanks for hanging out with your girl. Thanks for rocking with me. Don't forget, leave me your comments. Good, bad, indifferent. I don't care. Shit. Oh, God, God that's your better than me. Leave me your comments, your thoughts, your ideas. Hey, am I tripping? I know. I don't know. I cannot figure it out. But Pooh Coco, she's in it now. This woman has also revealed that while they were having Khloe Kardashian and Tristan's, is it third birthday party? I think she's three. Um, Tristan was not in attendance because he was with her. Okay. That shit, that shit crazy. Any J, <laughs> that shit crazy. As you know, we've been in quarantine for the past, holy crap, over a year now. And so, you know, of course he's been behaving. Of course he's been good to you. You're stuck in the in the house. You ain't got nowhere to go. You can't find no bitches. And if you meet somebody, he's probably um, <laughs> he's probably afraid he's gonna get the Rona. Cause you know what? This is another subject I need to make something about. Are people really dating during the Rona? Are y'all not scared of just meeting someone and just catching the Rona? Cause you gotta go to their house doing whatever, you know. So yeah, so she thought they were safe. She thought she could make magic happen. Unfortunately for Chloe, um, quarantine is not going to last forever. And he will be out in these streets having his hot boy summer and hot boy life. And the boy is only 20, what? She, he's young, much younger than she is. So he's having his phase as a young man, a superstar, um, a basketball player with a lot of money while he's with her. Set him free. Co-parent your child. Let him go because he's having the phase and you're hoping that, you know, it's going to be a phase. It's going to be over. It's not going to be over anytime soon. So if you're that patient, good for you, child. You and Sally may need to, you and Sally may need to get together and be patient about my student loans, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, Chloe, I'm going to pray for you. Have a good day. Hey, you guys, hope you enjoyed that. See my little breakdown and like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. See y'all later. <laughs> Peace.